So mm-hmm. say your son is around like 16 now. Mm-hmm. And you know what's crazy about social media is that when he is 16, he'll be able to watch us. I know, I know. So what it, like when he's 16 um, and you had to give him some advice to kind of curve him away from the obstacles that you kind of like had to go mm-hmm, through, mm-hmm. What would, what would, what's like something you would want him to focus on so he could really stay out of the fire that burns you? Uh, <sighs> what a great question. I know. <laughs> it's true, though. Um, you, it's very hard um, to understand. But you know who you are. Um, and you may not feel that way, especially you're saying if I'm talking to him as he's 16. Um, But you know who you are. And I guess I just want, I I was always, I feel like I wanted somebody to tell me that I am good and I'm like worthy and I'm okay the way I am, you know? And I, I don't know, like I had great parents, but I feel like I would want Calvin and William to know that, like, you're enough, you know, because you're you. And that's what I I would want them to know, that you don't need anything else. Um, and you got to feel all your feelings. That sucks, because I hate doing that. Um but you have to feel all your feelings. You can't run from those, which I did. I built this whole career off of just making people laugh and never being able to confront the sad moments and the dark sides and the uh, tribulations. I would just find the humor in it and run from that. And uh, that is something that is only gonna bite you in the ass. So make sure to feel all the feelings and find good things to do to cope with it and. Um, but yeah, you know who you are and don't let other people, uh, tell you who you are. Um, and it may be hard to find out truly who you are, but you already know, and you just have to get through life figuring out, figuring that out. Um, so that's, I guess that's what I would tell them. And that was a lot of words, but, um, that was perfect. Yeah. Enjoy well said. Now let me have the tissues. Okay. (laughs) Can I say something? Yeah. Um, you are, uh, when I when I first met you, bro, like, you were so unbelievably uh, opening for me. And uh, I want to let you know, and I don't know if I have to be the one to remind you, dude, but you're an amazing human being. Thanks, dude. You're an amazing human being. And, uh, bro, you're far past worth it. Mm. I think you just stepping up to the plate and n- finding out who your demons are for your family uh I know men, good men, bro. Great men that run away from that. Mm. And you took it on your shoulders, bro. And, you, and I could not be more proud to tell the world I'm friends with you, bro. Mm. Thanks, dude. I really love you, bro. Love you, bro. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, dude. thanks. Thank you, guys. Really. Yeah, I thank really you appreciate so much it. Being here. You made me so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was just... Dude, I got... <laughs> it's from your heart, and yeah. you, you know you can feel that. So. Yeah. I'm Thanks. too much of an emotional person to watch That's you. That's all right, man. I tell you, I, I didn't cry for like fucking 40 years, and then now it's just like every day, so I feel like I'm catching up. It's okay. I, there's so yeah. much beautiful. It's sad. You cry. Beautiful, you cry. It's like, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, exactly. So much. <laughs> so much.